जो हमारा सोसाइटी है चंद्रताल सेव चंद्रताल बोल की एक सोसाइटी बना है तो हम लोग हर महीने में सब कैंप से दो दो स्टाफ जाके यहाँ पे पूरा चंद्रताल का सफाई करते हैं हर दस दिन में और वो सारा गार्बेज यहाँ से मना ली जाता है रंगड़ी में वही है लोग प्लास्टिक लाते हैं बॉटल्स लाते हैं कोई मैगी चिप्स लाते हैं वो सब ऊपर लेक के वहाँ पर फेंक के चले जाते हैं सारा तो उसके लिए बस वही है सफाई जो है यहाँ सब मिल हम कैंप वाले सारे हम दस कैंप साइट हैं यहाँ पर तो सब मिल वही दस दिन एक बार हर कैंप से दो लोग जाते हैं और पूरा सफाई करते हैं उसका उसी वजह से साफ भी रहता है और लेक से तीन किलोमीटर के आसपास में किसी को भी कैंप लगाने नहीं देते प्राइवेट टेंट्स भी बस आप किसी भी कैंप साइट के पास लगा सकते हो उनका वॉशरूम यूज़ कर सकते हो बदले में before you travel think after you travel think in between what are you taking with you what are you leaving behind when you take the memories to your home make sure you take every bit of plastic with you which is expected given that it's a cool desert mountain <laughs> skin burns like you can actually feel the skin burning particularly if you walk for a long stretch you can't help it so see that road going up 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 it would go up that's going to chandrathal So this is actually day four for me. I have been walking from Atal Tunnel through Coxar, Chhatru, and Batal. But as an independent trek, Chandrathal begins from Batal, where I camped last night. Chandrathal is a high altitude lake in Lahore's Bethi at four thousand two hundred and fifty meters. So tomorrow I would have to hike back to Batal in order to go to Kaza but now for the next 15 kilometers there would be non colors in the gigantic shady mountains except for that one direction which expands in light purple Yesterday I had the best camping experience So when I got up in the morning they told me it was minus 3 because I was completely warm and I slept beautifully throughout the night I did not even wake up except for a few times when I thought somebody was outside my tent and there was dogs uh, which I realized in the morning because there was dog shit everywhere around my tent and I was too lazy at minus 3 degrees to actually come out and check out what's going on because I could actually feel something is moving outside but I knew there were dogs I already met them they were wanted to come inside my tent so I was pretty chill for the most part I am gaining altitude I just started from 4000 meters and I'm continuously gaining altitude and it's all going up here because it's Chandrathal trek and it's uh, 15 kilometers but i think i'll go till 12 kilometers because uh, you were supposed to uh, set up your camp 3 kilometers 2 3 kilometers away uh, from the lake itself so i think i will set up the tent first of course uh, then if i have time then i'll go to the lake and see or else i think i want to do it tomorrow morning it would be nice to see the sunrise from there gaining a lot of altitude but but another thing is i i am really enjoying the walk today uh, which i was not yesterday i yesterday was uh, like i have to do it i have to do it uh, today is like oh my god it's up here and just look at that so this is the road that's going up 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 <laughs> I think a lot depends on the landscape and the people you meet, your own mindset, and your, of course, your ability to do it, physical strength. 
today is amazing i it's it's 11:30 i started from 9:30 only and uh, i st- i only have i think 7 to 6 kilometers to go because i i walked really really guy this is the first time i'm resting in 2 hours uh, and i'm just resting not just for the sake of resting to eat something i had my packed lunch uh, there is something you should definitely do is nothing in between the villages it just everything is like a picture right now i think it's it's nice to stay here and enjoy the silence uh, it's so silent so silent i just met a group of bikers from west bengal and they gave me uh, some merchandise from their bikers club which is really nice really really nice people they gave me two packets of ores and a keychain uh, of their bikers club and a sticker of their bikers club <laughs> so even though i'm not a biker i think this is really nice so when i go for my first ever bike adventure i will definitely keep that sticker in my bike pitching my own tent but i'm pitching the tent at the campsite because i want to charge my devices not my phone just this mm. so i'm not carrying a power bank as a matter of fact so and that's okay they have plenty of space uh, now that i have dumped my huge weight uh, at the campsite i'm just carrying my day pack and I'm going to Chandigarh Lake, which is three kilometers away from here. Three kilometers up here. I'll come down after sunset and stay for the night at the campsite. I couldn't wait for the next morning. I had to see Chandigarh. Incidentally a group of bikers offered me tea at a different campsite and time flew by with the flow of the conversations and for the last few kilometers i sat behind one of the bikes and reached chandratal lake but amid everything that has happened to me throughout the journey moon lake camps stood out to my chandradal days i pitched my own tent there true but the owner of the campsite sunny ji was such an amazing person that he refused to take any money for food as well and food included soup coffee an extensive dinner buffet and breakfast more than that we had an in-depth conversation about the life of the locals in lahore i shall remember this always In the upcoming days I will soon reach Spiti Valley via Kunzum Pass at 4551 meters Have the local interactions that enriched my perspectives get stuck in road blocks while i hitchhike for 2 days on my way back to manali from kaza <laughs>